Hi there, and thank you for tuning in. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to shoot tethered with your Nikon D4. And it's really not complicated. You need two things. One is a piece of software that will support tethered capture. Here I have Lightroom. Uh, this is on a Mac, and I think it runs in something called Rosetta emulation mode. So for some reason, it needs to run in emulation mode. I don't know why. The other alternative, I think, or the big alternative, that is Capture One. I think most that uh, shoot tethered, they actually use uh, Capture One. But here I'm using Lightroom. As you can see, there is a little menu here, so I can I can actually control the camera on the computer if that is to my liking. Today I will just shoot uh, using the camera here, and I'm shooting completely in manual mode. I have a flash here, I have a trigger here. Don't be intimidated by that. It's just you know the way I have it today. You don't need the flash, you just need a cable and then a piece of software. And uh, if I take a picture here, I just want to show you what happens because when you take an image here, you can see, boom, it appears on your screen. And uh, then you can of course go full mode and then you can see what you have done basically. If I go and I can quickly edit this image, if that is to my liking, and go back in full mode, and then you can actually see in a very large format what you've just done. And this is the benefit of shooting tethered. If you're shooting with a client where maybe you're doing some headshots or whatever, you can actually show your work in big format just after you shot the image. So I think that is really where the value of this comes in. Also, of course, you can, I mean, if you want to see your own work, instead of seeing it here on a very, very small screen, then this works much better. The cable you need is just a USB cable, basically. So I have USB-A in one end and then micro USB, I think it is, on the other end. And uh, that's actually it. And then, of course, you need to make sure it's long enough. You can get some of these uh, specialized cables from Tether Pro. They come with these uh, mechanisms so that you can attach this to a camera and then you can sort of hook it up so that if someone stumbles <laughs> in your cable because they are lying around, uh, then it won't pull the sort of the cable out of the socket in your camera. Um, they are a little bit more expensive, but this setup that I have here, that was actually just the USB cable that came with the camera. So nothing advanced going on here, and maybe this cable is a little bit too short if you ask me. But then it's just, you know, you can, you can basically fire away. You can see, I think maybe my image there was a little bit underexposed. So I'm just increasing the flash here and taking another shot. Just see here. And you can see now the tether cable is in the screen because, uh, yeah, I just put it there, obviously. So I think that's really all there is to it. You should be aware of one thing, and that is that your images are not stored on your camera. And that was a little bit news to me. The two SD cards, you have of course two SD cards and a programmer like the Nikon D4. They are not activated at all. The data is sent straight from the camera to your PC. So be mindful that you don't have a backup. You have actually, I think what the engineers call a single point of failure, meaning that if your PC is hurt, then you have a problem and you, you lose all your data. So my advice is make sure you back up your data as quickly as you can, preferably in real time uh, from your Mac or whatever you're using. Uh, otherwise, you run the risk that you may lose your data. So other than that, there's not much to it. A piece of software, a cable, your beloved Nikon D4. Yeah. And then you can see your work right away in a large format. That's it from me. As always, happy shooting. Take care. Bye-bye.